We are back with a woman who is history and a hero, Dr. Kazmikia Corbett, one of the scientists who played a key role in developing the Moderna coronavirus vaccine. She's a senior research fellow at the National Institute of Health's Vaccine Research Center, and there she is. Doctor, thank you so much. I'm saying thank you because that vaccine you developed in my arm. Um, so oh, thank you well, for thank that. thank you for getting vaccinated. <laughs> Absolutely, I will. Do you think we're doing better? That was a big concern, and we're still seeing some of that hesitancy, in particular with the African-American community, about the vaccines and getting the vaccines. That was a book, big push of yours. Uh, uh, is it getting better, that hesitancy going away a little bit? Well, you know what, TJ? I actually like to change the narrative a little bit, and instead of calling it hesitancy, I call it vaccine inquisitiveness. <laughs> and you know what? It is getting better. People have questions but they are seeking the answers in the right place. And we are seeing high turnout with getting the vaccine. And so we are all hopeful. Well, that is a good way. Well, well, I'm going to start using that. No, no more hesitancy. Uh, so I'm no going to follow hesitancy. your lead. <laughs> your part now, you all are now putting the Moderna vaccine through trials against the South African variant. Is that what you're seeing? I don't know what you're seeing so far, but are you hopeful uh, of the news that's going to come out of that? We are absolutely hopeful. You know, it is all a part of pandemic preparedness. The same way we did this very quickly in the, in the onset of the pandemic last year, when we see these variants and they are becoming a concern, we certainly want to be able to test that in foil, full in humans and in animals. And so we're doing both of those, both in collaboration with Moderna and the NIH. And we're very hopeful for the outcome, especially as we've seen the efficacy for the variants and trials across the globe. Uh, how long are these vaccines going to last? We got some new, some good news from Pfizer that maybe at least six months give you protection. It will continue to be studied, but Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson and Johnson, uh, what should we expect? What do you expect? How long will they uh, have us covered, if you will? Well, you know what? Time will tell, but I will tell you that that Pfizer data is certainly promising, particularly around the mRNA vaccine candidates. And you know what? We're about a year plus into the phase one clinical trials. And so we have had peaks at the antibody responses and we aren't really concerned just yet. And so we're all just hopeful and very excited about getting this vaccine into as many arms as possible. This is your work. This is what you do. But we were in a much different place a year ago. Tell me, Dr. Corbett, how are you doing and what has it been like to watch us get to this point now where we're still talking about that light at the end of the tunnel and finally it's not a train coming at us. What is this like for you to sit here now? Look, I know you're not going to toot your own horn. We will toot that horn for you, kind ma'am, but you are absolutely part of the group responsible for right now saving the world. Just what's it like for you to see where we are now? Well, you know, I'm honored actually to be able to watch it both from the inside and as I've been vaccinating now and I'm a little bit at peace. Um, I am also very honored to be able to watch it from the outside, to be able to see this vaccine go into arms that us, that we developed with the team at NIH. It is just, I'm proud of this moment and hopeful for the outcome. And you're right, the light at the end of the tunnel is shining ever so bright right now. Dr. Corbett, have you done anything for yourself? Taking a vacation, taking a break? I have. I actually went to see some of my vaccinated friends and I'm looking forward to hugging my grandmother and just looking forward to the future in general. I certainly will be taking a break um, when we get over this variant hump and, and taking some vacation time. All right. Dr. Corbett, I cannot say it enough. You are absolutely one of the heroes responsible for it literally now in a lot of ways saving the world. Thank you so much for what you've done thank in your you. work, but thank you for being an advocate and putting your voice out there and making sure people are educated because they have vaccine inquisitiveness, not a vaccine. Inquisitiveness. Yes, there it is. Dr. Corbett, good Absolutely. to see you. We'll see you down the road, all right? My pleasure. Right. Thank you. Thank well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.